Okay, uh, now we're going to do applying a function to a to groups of data. Um, now, I didn't, in case you see this list, uh, I haven't done this one, so don't be confused by that. Um, so, okay, let's go to this one, applying a function to groups of data. So this is a situation where the uh, data elements occur in groups and you want to process the data by group. So you might want to sum or average by group. So, okay, let's see how we handle this. We're going to create a grouping factor and that has to be the same length as the vector. Um, and the grouping factor identifies the group of each corresponding piece of data. And then we're going to use the tapply function. So this finally brings us back to the uh, uh, problem we were trying to solve, um, where we're trying to make a histogram uh, of the air temperature, or I'm sorry, I think, yeah, the temperature, um, and uh, we want to find the mean per month. So we're going to we're going to have a grouping variable which is going to be the month and then we're going to use the tapply function. So let's see how that works. First let's review. Let's uh, see the data that we were considering. So I think we had uh, something called air quality. And it looked like this. This is part of it. And um, so we had the temperature here and the month here. So we're going to use uh, the month as the grouping variable. And the format looks like this for the t apply function. So it looks like this. It takes basically three uh, parameters. Three main parameters. The vector of the data and the factor that defines the groups and a function. So the vector of the data, te temperature data, the factor, the vector that defines the factor, and the function. Now it's essential that um, the vector of uh, the f that defines the groups be the same length as this vector as the uh, as this vector and what it's going to do is it's going to extract each group and apply the function to each group and it's going to return a vector with the collected results so it's going to return a vector uh, with the collected results for uh, in this case for uh, each of the months so let's see So month uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we uh, calculate the mean for these. OK, so that's how you apply this. OK, so we're going to use this to make a histogram. And then we will uh, come back and finish off this section on data transformations. We'll do a few more.